Hello, hello. Welcome back to my channel. This is the day that I'm working on, and my prompt word for today is actually um, crystal ball. But I mean, it could be the fortune teller, crystal ball, um, mind reader, whatever you want to call it. So, what I wanted to do is I figured I would make it where we could see into the future, meaning you could see into the next page, technically. <laughs> um, but to start off, this page has got like baby wipe green on and then the little hocus pocus thing from the Tim Holtz thing um, stencil that I did my hocus pocus page on. So I'm going to cover over it. First, I'm going to try with the laid back lilac. I'm not sure what it's going to look like. And if it's not purplish enough for me, then I'll put in some crushed grape. I'm going to do that really, really quick and then I'll be right back. Alright, so I've got that all co covered over. Now, for the sake of just having something different in the background or just a little bit of something, I'm going to take the small lock and roll stencil, make sure it's shiny side up, and then I am going to take the Calypso Teal Shimmer Paint and the Dilutions, and I'm just going to add it in a few random spots. Next, we need to cut out the window, which is essentially going to be the crystal ball. So the size circle that I'm actually gonna do is it's a three inch around circle. And what I found to work perfectly for me is my quarter inch score tape, the inside. I'm just gonna pick my spot where I wanna put it. Somewhere around here, I think. Maybe a little bit lower, right about there and I'm going to grab my pencil and I'm just going to mark out my circle on the inside here take my finger blade and my cutting mat and I'm just going to cut that out really really quick Okay, so now we have this cut out. We're gonna set this aside and use this for another day for something. Now we need to grab a spare piece of cardstock because we're gonna take that exact same um, thing that we used, whatever you use to make the circle. We're gonna lay it out, make sure we got enough room because we're gonna give ourselves about a half an inch as well. So what you gotta do is and this right here is about a half an inch all the way around so it works out perfect for me you just draw out the inner circle like you did on there and then draw out an outer circle trace around something along those lines. And if you don't have a score tape, just make sure you have something that's about a quarter of an inch, or sorry, a half an inch bigger than your inner circle. All right, so I need to make the outside of this kind of blend in with this. So what I'm gonna 
do is I am going to take my laid back lilac again and color over this entire thing. Once that's dry, you're going to go in with your scissors and you're going to cut out your outer circle. Then you're going to grab your mat and your finger blade again or whatever you use to cut and cut the inner circle out. Okay, so this is what we have here, just like that. Now what I have, and this, again, you can use any kind of plastic that you want, but I have, this is the embossable window plastic. You can use the plastics from the covers of your stamp sets. You can use the plastics that come with a clear stamp, so it's got two, it's got one on the bottom and one on the top. This is essentially the same thing. So what I have to do now is I have to go in and make the circle, but I need it to be a bit bigger or a little bit smaller than this. So here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna lay my ring down that I just made. I am going to grab my Posca paint pen and I am just going to go around probably halfway, so about a quarter of an inch out from my inner ring. It's not going to be perfect, but just enough for me to put some double-sided tape on it. Something along those lines. And then, set this aside, I'm going to cut that out really quick. And this is what we have. A circle that should fit just on the other side of that, like that. So, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the Calypso Tail in the Shimmer Paint and the Rose Quartz in the Shimmer Paint, and I'm just going to lightly go over this entire thing. This is what we have. It's kind of hard to see, but it just makes it where it looks a little swirly, a little, almost like a crystal ball effect. So now what we need to do, and I'm actually going to put it up this way. I'm going to go around, paint side up, and I'm going to put um, the double-sided tape just along a few parts. So probably up here, down here just a few parts on this so I can get it stuck onto here and then we'll do the remainder. Now I'm going to take my 
glue stick and I'm actually going to go around the entire thing about a quarter of an inch. Now that we have it like that, it's time to put double sided tape all the way around this outer ring. Okay, get all that peeled off and stuck down. Now the hard part is done. So now it's time to just pretty much build the page. And let me show you what I've got. I have these, which is just a quarter inch wide border piece that I went in and I just drew stars. And then I colored it with rose quartz and then Calypso too on them. So we have that to go up there and this to go down here. And then I have this piece, and this is actually from the Any Old Elf set, and it's usually got holly and little berries, but I painted, I went in and it with a black paint pen and made the holly into little bats and just made circles on the little berries, and I colored it with the same colors, the rose quartz and the calypso till. This is going to be the base of the crystal ball, so it's going to go right here. And then I have these two hands. These are from the Traveling Travis, Dilution's Traveling Travis set. And I figure they can just go here because, or maybe, let me see, do I want them up here next to the crystal ball? I think I do. I think I'll just have them go there, just like that. Maybe. I think I might like them better in front. So we're gonna move a little bit more down. Probably something more along those lines. And then I have, because this isn't gonna leave me a whole lot of room for writing at all. So you know what I do when I need room for writing? I make a tag and I make a tuck spot. <laughs> So this has got the rose quartz and the calypso tail and the shimmer paint on this side, and then this side is the calypso tail. But how am I gonna get it to stick down? I have this from the Don't Won't Can't stamp set, and I figure I'll just put it right down here. And I will turn it into a tuck spot like so. And that will be how it goes. So let's start sticking things down. And I'll be right back.
now to figure out my tuck spot, I'm going to need to make sure my things are stuck down all the way really well. <laughs> um, I'm just going to have to put this here and I want it to rest down here on this bottom thing, I believe. So do I want this up here underneath the hands maybe? Or do I want it lower? Maybe about here. So that way. center it up a little bit more. That would be nice. Oh, no. Not there. Yeah, that works. So, for an in-plate sweater tag, same thing as always. Go in, mark it, and put tape only on the outsides here. I actually want to take my black and my white um, spray ink and I'm going to make splatters. So what am I going to do is I'm going to pull my tag out. Well first, let's do, let me outline just the pieces that are down. I'm going to cover over this page and I'm actually going to take this particular circular image try to fit it in there somehow some way just to cover your plastic piece and then let me grab something to cover over this with and I'll start with the white I'm just going to go ahead and splatter it all around And now I'm going to go in with just a very little bit of black and do the same thing. And that is it guys, that is my page for the day. I have got my writing space on the tag, front and back. And that'll just tuck in back here. And right here I can put whatever I want to. I can even put the date in there, which is probably what I will end up doing. Um, but the purpose of this is to be a crystal ball where you can see into the future, which would be the very next page. And when you look at it like that, so long as the next page is a lighter color, you'll be able to see the little mm, like shimmery blues and pinks. <laughs> Almost like a crystal ball. So I hope there's... This page gives you guys some kind of inspiration for your journal pages. And if you like the video, please give it a like. I thank you so, so, so very much for watching. And for all of your super kind comments, it truly makes my heart happy to hear that you guys are enjoying them and you're getting inspiration from them and hopefully making pages of your own, you know. Um, so until the next time, I hope you stay safe, stay warm, and I'll see you later. Bye-bye.